Hello folks, Jason Christman, Grazing Acres Farm. Just yesterday we got uh, 11 new heifers in and we put them in a separate pasture away from the cow-calf herd. Um, we're not wanting the bull to have access to these heifers. Um, none of these heifers that I'm going to show you here in a couple minutes are mine. Um, I'll just be managing them and taking care of them. And in about a month the bull will be leaving and I will combine the two herds. But uh, what I thought I'd do this morning is uh, we'd drive around, go back and check the heifers, and then go check the cow-calf herd. Um, just last week I shared a video on a calf with a broken leg, and we have him and his mama. That's his mama right there. He's actually on the other side of her laying down right now. And I want to give a shout out to the ones that, of you that watched the calf video on him and his broken leg. Um, just yesterday, we uh, took the splint off and rewrapped it. And when I did that, I took the time to uh, flare the top part of the PVC splint so it wasn't digging into his leg. And he's not really going to give me a good view on that but I can definitely see a huge improvement in that. Thanks to you uh, that suggested that, I appreciate that. Doing pretty good, aren't you, little boy? And we did have another young heifer in with them, but yesterday when the heifers arrived, um, we sorted her out and sent them back with the heifers. That way, when I hand feed these every, guys every day from the bale of hay, I don't have to feed quite as much. The bale of hay will last a little bit longer. So what we're going to do now is we're going to cruise back. Back that direction is where the cow-calf herd is. And this direction is where the heifers are. So let's head that way now. And uh, we'll see how everybody's doing this morning. I don't really figure anybody's going to need fed this morning. Because I fed them last night. But uh, time will tell. Basically just a welfare check. Okay, so here they are. Let's climb over the gate and we'll go in and see how everybody's doing. This heifer calf that you see over here with the white head off by herself, that's the one that was up front with the cow and her calf with the broken leg. So this pasture is one we call our, uh, what we call the 7-Eleven. And up there on the top of the hill, it kind of flattens out. Um, during the grazing season, we've not got a lot of clover that comes in there. So the game plan is to keep the herd, this little small herd of heifers, off of the top and keep them down here on this uh, ravine and work down some of these uh, multiple rose bushes. And what I'm going to do is basically what I did over here with this bale. I set it right on a multiple rose something similar to this set the bale right on it why the cows were eating it they're also trampling the multi four rows this calf this brown or red calf here with the white head blue tag this is a heifer calf that uh or a calf that was born here on the farm just last year um october of last year i shouldn't say last year of 2018 not 2019 And she's a calf from last year, too. Um, but, let's see, I think she was a January calf of last year, like the 7th. So, she just turned a year old. But here's the new group. I got these two. This one. And these others. So there's 11 new head here that I got yesterday. Even got the one with horns. 
and a little pepper here. How you ladies liking the bale, huh? This is that uh, wet alfalfa hay. Uh, it's got a lot of first cutting grass in it, but uh, boy, does it smell good. Oh, ladies, you ladies are digging it, huh? All right, well, I'm not gonna hold you up. Another calf from last, or 2018. Right there, looking good. Everybody's looking good. Are you guys sharing with a little girl? It's kind of funny. All these cows here are used to each other. They're not used to this one, so she's kind of been the outcast since yesterday. Uh-huh. Get you something to eat there, girl. There you go. That's a good way to make buddies. You can get this calf up here. She she will remember you here before long. This one here was weaned and sent back to the guy I managed for his house for a few months. This one here just turned a year, so she never left. So these three here, even though they were acquainted at one time, kind of forgot a little bit about who each other is. And now that I'm looking, I can remember this calving season pretty well. Uh, this is a heifer calf, and I slipped up and tagged her in the wrong ear. That ear is actually the ear I would tag for a bull calf. And I remember this particular calf being born in January. Um, her tail froze and stuck to the ground when she was young. It has a short little tiny tail. Good little calm group. Um, their bale looks good. I got their water. That's a old bale feeder sitting up there around a water spigot so the cows don't rub on it. Um, the hay feeder is not used as a hay feeder, only to protect the spigot. So just on the, on the far side of that feeder is their stock tank. And uh, they've got water, they've got food, everybody seems to be content. And the hay bale, their next hay bale is still protected by poly wire. Nobody's uh, breached the poly wire, so we are good. We will now go check the cow-calf herd and see how they are doing. I'm going to stop the video though until we get back up to our corral. And then we'll go from there. Back to the cow-calf. Okay, so we're back in our corral. We just came from that direction, due north. Now we're going to head dead east, back to where the cow-calf herd is uh, in our hill field. So let's go back here and check it out. Um, I apologize for the bouncy ride on the way back, but I think it's important that I show the spacing between everybody and it kind of gives you an idea of our layout. So here we go. This kind of gives you an idea of the mud that I'm dealing with on a daily basis. In January, central Ohio when the ground should be frozen. Mud, mud, mud. Look at those ruts from the tractor. It's crazy. All right, let's continue on. Okay, so this is what we call our sunshine pasture. Fence goes right down along that tree line. On that side of the fence is where the cow-calf herd is and what we call our hill field. The sunshine is all of this area, right down through here. So we'll go through the sunshine to go over and get to our hill field gate, which is right back over there. Good old muck. Muck and mud.
Okay, so this is our hill field. You can pretty much see uh, a lot of the back of the farm from up here. This pasture right back here, you can see it goes up, across, and it actually goes down and disappears behind the hill here. Um, the bottom of it is right down through here, and that pasture is called our woods field. Over here, you can see a pasture just on the other side of this tree line at the bottom of the hill. Um, that pasture is our no-name pasture. And there's an overlook of the sunshine pasture we just came through. So this is our hill field, and it's 25 acres. 25 acres right now of mud. But it is what it is. Um, I got the cows on top of the herd just because we've had a lot of rain. And uh, to keep them off the bottom, I figure where they could do a lot more damage than what they're doing up here. But I'm trying to use this damage to my advantage and uh, create some better fertility. Just like with the heifers, this bale is sitting directly on a multiple rose bush. Um, all three of these bales that are in here with the cow calves um, were fed at the same time yesterday. See how much of that bale's left? We only got two feeders right now. This is the bale that did not have a feeder around it. Let me in, girls. Come on, girls. Come on, biggins. Come on, biggins. Let me in. That's what's left. They demolished it. It doesn't help that they're standing on it, but for the most part, that bale's been wiped clean. Let's go here and check this one. See, we got them. Everybody's spaced out. You notice those cows coming up the hill when I was coming in. Um, they're over there cleaning up piles of hay from the other day. So. I guess when they go down the hill to the water spigot or the stock tank to get a drink, when they come back up, they smell it, and uh, go get something to eat and clean it up a little more. That doesn't bother me. I'm glad to see that they're not uh, afraid to get back in there and eat some leftovers. Looking good, girls. Looking good. All right, here's my, uh, my cow, Millie with her calf, her bull calf. She's Pharaoh. Uh, the bull that bred her, Sammy, is, uh, or no, it wasn't Sammy. It was the bull that's in here now, this guy. I don't know though. Sammy may have bred her because uh, this guy didn't arrive till late summer. Sammy was still here and she was the first to calf. So, we could get one more calf out of Sammy. But anyway, that makes this bull calf full-blooded pharaoh. Pretty excited about that. And the fact that he's mine. Hey, Millie. How you doing this morning, Millie? Hey, big fat girl. Yeah, Millie. How you doing, honey? Hey, Millie's a good girl. Everybody's just kind of lounging or, or eating, huh? But look what they've done here to these brambles. Just trampled them to death. That's a steer here. There is a few steers mixed in. Not very many. Most are cows or calves. There's a calf. 2019 calf. Number six. So he's an early one. And here's my girl Casey. This is my cow. Hey Casey, hey mama. And this is Casey's calf from 2019. Little bull calf. Very proud of that little boy. Doesn't have the greatest genetics, he just got Casey in him. And I love the markings on him. Hey right down there's my cow Red with her calf. Hey, there's a model for a rose I will be placing a bale on. Probably the next bale I feed, actually. You're a good girl, Casey. So anyway, things look pretty good. Um, here's my calf from my big black cow, Daisy. If you followed my videos for very long, um, you might recall Daisy. 
Daisy uh, went lame on me this year and I had to get rid of her. Um, her foot just swole up and I didn't see it getting any better even though I tried my best to help it heal. So I sold Daisy, kept the calf, and I bottle fed him for about two months. A pretty tame little guy, aren't you buddy? He's a pretty tame little guy. That's what you see on my uh, plexiglass on my ATV. Makes it a little hard to see out the front. Um, dropped the bottle one day and milk splattered up on the plexiglass there on my enclosure. It's one thing I recommend. If you do uh, any kind of farming during the winter on an ATV, check out this cab enclosures. Now, mine's looking kind of rough because the fabric on it started to break down and I just can't see spending another $300 on one. So I'm gonna try and, uh, well, I've started closing it in with old truck bed liners. Just cutting the pieces down to size and screwing them right to the frame. I've actually just replaced the front plastic window with some plexiglass and I'm gonna do that with every piece all the way around, but plexiglass or Lexan isn't cheap, so we'll do it here and there and not all at once. You can see the bed liner down the side. The fabric itself kind of getting rough though. But I'll tell you, when I have to come up here and uh, check the cattle and it's raining, or I have chores to do, it's raining, this cab's a blessing. Here's who it's made by, but uh, good luck finding them in stock anywhere. It's like they sold out and didn't make them anymore. When you do find them, they want both your legs and arms for it. Well, buddy, I think you got a mohawk going on there. Yeah, number 11, I remember you. Had a hard time catching you to put your tag in. So anyway, folks, everything looks pretty good here this morning. Um, with that much of a bale left in each feeder, I'm going to say they're going to make it the rest of the day without me feeding again, which is a good thing. What does he have on the back of his head? Turn your head around. No clue. <clears throat> this pasture over here that you're seeing in Hillside is another farmer. Actually, you can see he's home right there. He's got quite the view. I guess now I will head back to my place and uh, check the two cows that I have there. I have two uh, heifers there, one which I plan the process out and one which is a daughter of Millie. So the one of Millie, the daughter of Millie, I plan to have bred this year. So that's my plans. And uh, I guess I need to head home now and check those two and get them fed. But as you can see, I got plenty of cow duties to take care of and they're all spread out. Got three groups here on this farm and a small group of two at the house so four different groups I'm managing and you can't get enough cows you get some more that's what you do right here little bull calf <laughs> all right folks anyway I hope you enjoyed the video I hope you enjoyed the short tour and uh, I appreciate you watching if you enjoyed the video Throw me a big thumbs up and uh, don't forget to subscribe and make sure you click on that little bell so you get notified when I release new videos. Thanks for watching. Grazing Acres Farm. You got some big eyes, guy. Some big eyes.